Hello, I'm back and welcome to Tech It Tutorial. This is episode number four and today I'll be going over, I don't know, just, you know, machines that generate power for your little setup you got. So first up we have solar panel. It requires three pieces of glass, three coal dust, which can be made by grinding coal in a macerator, four tin, four redstone, uh, seven copper cables, which a copper cable is made by three pieces of copper in a row, and then just put some rubber, which is sticky resin either cooked at a furnace or extracted. So then 12 refined iron bars and eight iron ingots. So you're just going to start off by making a iron furnace. Uh, you're also going to need a battery. And with that, just put the battery on top iron furnace there and then three pieces of refined iron and you got yourself a generator next you'll need to make yourself a computer oh well, wait no I, I don't even remember the name I usually say computer circuit but it's it's not it's electronic circuit don't know how I don't remember that actually scratch that you'll need double the materials you'll need to make a second electronic circuit but luckily I ended up having one so put them in place and I always, I always put the uh, glass. Uh, I just did. Uh, I always put the glass opposite. It's not, it's not like a bowl. It's, uh, it's the opposite of a bowl, or, uh, or like I don't even know what they're called, glass bottles. But there, you got yourself a solar panel. You know what that extra refined iron was for? Ugh. Don't like to look at that. But uh, oh, it appears it's going night. So I guess I'll just explain the solar panels to you. So you just have to place them where they have a clear view of the sky. Uh, they're only, they're not very uh, energy but uh, uh, they don't produce a lot of energy uh, and they don't produce as much energy during storms or oh hey there's a spider still out there I thought I killed them all but uh, they don't produce as well as they could so I would not they're pretty resource draining as well I mean it's free energy but it, I don't know it's just it comes at a price I guess it uh, you can if you make eight of these and then like surround, put a the LV solar uh, LV transformer in the middle. You can make an LV solar panel, and up to a, and then you can go up to a medium voltage solar panel as well as a high voltage solar panel. Which those are really nice. But if you uh, if you were to connect this, and there was a five block gap between, you know, with a white like if if you travel five blocks with copper cable, you will begin losing power. Anything less than five, you don't lose any power. Just if you use copper cable and it's more than five, you will begin losing power. So that's something you should probably note when uh, setting up your things. Okay, now I will be making a wind turbine. It's made pretty simply with just a generator in the middle and four iron bars around. So it, this is most effective the higher up you are. As well, it's mo more effective during storms and slightly more effective during rain. So in a nine, I believe it's a nine by nine by nine box around this uh, turbine, wind, wind, yes, wind turbine, around this wind turbine, it is, the more, the less blocks there are in the nine by nine area, by nine, it is more effective. It uh, will just produce more energy. So obviously you can't just run a giant copper cable up there because that loses power every five, the, well, every block past five blocks. So what you use is, it's called ultra low current cable. And this is made just by three pieces of tin, it makes nine, so it's pretty easy to make. And if it, uh, up to 40 blocks, it can go up to 40 blocks without losing any power. So if you were to build like 39 block high ultra low current cable tower, I guess, you will lose no energy and it, you could still go really high with it. So I already have my uh, tower built out there. So to scale it really easily, I use something called scaffolding, and it, it, it's made very easily, just three planks of wood, three sticks, and you get 16, so that's obviously very effective, I already have my 37 black, well it's a 37 black high tower that I made, and I have my 37 scaffolding to easily scale it. So just place down the first block, and then if you right, if you left click on it, not right, I almost said right, well I did say right, but I made left. So if you left click on it, you'll just keep stacking up higher and higher on top of it. And there we go. So let's scale this and uh, pop this baby on top. It's kind of a long climb. Uh, so this this is not you know really 
So actually, one thing that's kind of noted that should be noted is if it storms, if it's if it storms too hard, this can actually break. Like if it's if it's a certain height up, and it starts storming very hard, it it can actually break this. It can produce like it will just go too too hard and just break it. So that's something that you should pr try to try to remember when placing this. So then just break it, and it's actually kind of cool about scaffolding is it will just all pop off. You don't really get all of them back because most of them fall on the roof, but uh, yeah, you get them all back. Well, no, you don't get them all back. You just, I don't know, just, yeah. So next I'll probably do the uh, water chamber, no, the water mill, yes. Okay, so now this is the water mill blah thing. I think it's a water mill, yes. So it is made pretty simply. It's just wood and a generator and sticks. So it always sticks. It makes two of them, and well, this may sound, oh great, you can make a lot of them, but this is not the best. I, I have a little demonstration set up out here. It's not the best of all the generators. So in here, uh, this is the actual water mill itself. It doesn't produce electricity very fast if you run a wire. Uh, if you were to put a, you can put, uh, if you, okay, so this is a basically like a 3 by 3 chamber of water. And that's pretty much the most effective way to actually make energy with it. I mean, you can also put buckets of water in there and produce a lot faster. But I, that is still, oh, geez, I'm turning that volume off. Hopefully that goes away. And it did. Good, I do not, that's kind of annoying, but still. Not very fast. It only gives you a thousand energy units. Uh, I'm not very good with the actual lingo for energy in this game. Well, the mod, but uh, so what is what I'd say doing with it is just you know maybe putting in a uh, maybe putting in a battery and then getting some a bucket of water and just doing this back and forth through a source of a source. You'd also have to get rid of your bat box because we're trying to trying to make uh, fill up a battery but so it's not the most effective I mean this is probably one of the most effective ways of actually using it I'm not really, not really sure I haven't I don't I don't like using this I don't like using the water mill method of getting power it's very slight like this uh, battery can hold 10,000 uh, EU but uh, yeah so that's it for the water and I believe the only remaining one would be geothermal uh, not sure. I'll get into that. Okay, so I'm now going to make a lava generator, uh, which is pretty, well, it's pretty easy to make, I'd say. It just takes, uh, four pieces of tin and, like, a side of a square, make an empty cell. Uh, put it like that with two pieces of glass on each side, a generator there, and two refined iron. That's how you make the geothermal generator. So just plop this down next to your bat box, and this is how you get, uh, lava oh god no no okay uh that happens a lot i decided to transport some lava here to show you guys and it started burning my fence so just you, those empty cells you have if you just have if you just right click on lava with it you'll just suck up the lava of course it never completely goes away because it's lava so there you go so you just take this over to the geothermal generator. Oh, that was close. We'll break the down the door later. Okay, so as you can see, this is one lava cell, and it makes. I don't even know. Actually, I'm just waiting, just watching. It makes a lot. Oh wow! I think. Uh, wow, that yeah, that just make a lot. So this is one of the ways you can actually get it by putting lava cells in there. The other way is you can actually pump it out of the ground with a uh, some build craft pumps. I'll prop. Oh my! It's still going. Oh, there's a fire started. Great. Uh, I don't want to stop. I don't want to go out there because there's a zombie. But uh, it's gonna kill my cows. Oh, he's gone. Okay, good. No, 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 Bet. Oh, no, Betsy. Oh, but that won't help. Great, now they're they're both gonna burn to death. I'm gonna have to go get more cows now, but uh yeah, so that was geothermal generation. Uh and oh it ended up making twenty thousand. That was one lava cell, so I think you're pretty much set if uh if you got a geothermal generator. 
one lived. Oh, got it. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, see ya. Oh, yes. Also, I forgot. Uh, so, next episode, I'll be either going into equivalent exchange or build craft. So, uh, leave a you know comment in the comment section below uh, whether I should do either one or what else you think I should do. I don't really know. I'm kind of... I don't know why, but I just tend to run out of ideas. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, good. There's more lava, but uh, yep. Yeah, so thank you, thank you for watching. Bye.